God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't either. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, my mom, my shit. Go on, get. Pick a one, do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. a bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't, we fuck like your mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. Nothing good coming from that.
Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old Baron's got waiting for you round the corner. Now on your ride, we got the Carnival Carousel. A nice place for you boys and girls to stay out of trouble. But if you want one of those adventurous types, you might boys want to hear one meet the meanest gators this side of the bayou. On the crazy gator we'll roller coaster. We'll search every corner till we find them. But be careful now. I hear those boys sure do love dark meat. Things just keep... <laughs> Fuck shit, right? Me. I didn't mean to get mixed up in all this. Huh? I see you!
bitch coming to me! Get out there and fuck it. Daddy. 
Steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea. You hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball was eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. to recruit them to the cause. The only shot we have at making an impact is with sheer numbers. Maybe. Set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. I thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca. Wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear. I'm expecting a cut of everything. 
Not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. <laughs>